This is Twit. So drones. Now you you uh, on know how you do drones all the time. Oh no no not at no, all. no no not at all. I don't know. And is this drone? This is this the forty dollar drone that you've been crazy about? No no this is these are both drones that we built on the show. You this made is, them? Yeah, this is about a hundred dollars. That's about one hundred and fifty dollars. And you found a really inexpensive drone that we've been using to pollute the skies. Absolutely. Now. Everybody uses. That's, these. A, that's a fifty dollar drone that you can basically <laughs> crash into people. So, nice. Yeah. But I was excited. A couple of things I wanted to see the Parrot AR. Bebop. I was excited. This is a five hundred dollar drone right. with one super uh, fisheye lens that the software then can take any segment. So the the camera doesn't have to move for you to pan around or see any part of the yeah. of the world under the drone. What did you think of the Bebop? Did you play with that? I did. It actually flies quite well. It's. Uh, I thought it was going to be a toy. It's it's actually decently controllable. They say it's pretty. E they I mean they want it to be easy, right? Is it is it again forcing you to go through the interface on a tablet or phone? You can, but they have something called the Sky Commander, which That's actually adds sticks to the sides okay. of your tablet, so that you can control it like a like more like a traditional quadcopter. So you're using you know one of these these little remote controls. But so then, RC fans will like it because it has kind of an it's a hybrid RC yes. smartphone. Yes. But then the nice thing is you can have someone else actually controlling where the camera is, and it's all right. it's all optically it's all stabilized. It's digitally zoomed, uh, and unlike these quadcopters, if you put it into a location and then you release the controls, it will stay there. Right. Yeah. So it, it will hold its position, rock steady, getting you this beautiful footage. So that's what, the what you, Go ahead. I was going to ask. What do you think about the Chris Anderson's type of drone? What's you mean the that the DIY you, drones guy? Well, What's no, that once you pre-program its route, yeah. and then you push the button and off it goes to take photos. It's a horrible idea. Well, it depends. <laughs> it depends on the drone. And it depends on the platform. It depends on the gimbal, and it depends on how good you are at flying it. Because I mean, but it's it autonomous. Is that what you're saying? It doesn't have. Yeah, a it's control. autonomous. Yeah. That sounds not like a good well, idea. Well, I mean, see, that's the thing. We always get people who are like, these aren't drones, these are quadcopters. I understand what they're saying, but drone just means that you have some sort of autonomous functionality in it. And right. any, any of these will have some sort of autonomous functionality. Mostly right. just to hover, right? Just I to mean, hover. You, 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 just so that they stay stable. That's, yeah. right. that's what the original Parrot AR did so well. Is exactly. It, it, it was easier to fly because it had some autonomy. Look at the... Is this from the Bebop? This is from the Bebop. How could that cup, the picture be so good? It's a 1080p plus camera on the front. Wow. Right. I love this. Yeah, the FPV. And put on a virtual reality helmet, and you 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 can be where the drone is. You can get about 11 minutes of flight time on that battery. You can get about two kilometers away. $500. You How much is the Sky Command? guy off the hill. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> How much Man. is the Sky Command? Uh, they didn't price that for us yet. Okay. They're, they're sending us both, though, so we'll be able to play. I'm thinking this is, because I wanted to get one for Henry. I thought this would be a good one for a teenager to play with. Well, does, has he played around with like a $35 drone? Off of, no. buy, yeah, buy him the $35 drone joking. to learn how to fly. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to do is give Henry something that could chop somebody's head off from a distance. <laughs> well, see, this, this flies more like those toy drones where you're actually not going to destroy yeah. much if it hits it. It's nice and light. Look, the FAA is right about ready to just ban these whole this suckers entirely. They've already said you can't use them for commercial purposes. I've actually got a really good story about that. What's the story? I was in Hawaii and uh, found out that President Obama was on the island the same time that we were. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> and the FAA issued a directive saying you are not allowed to fly drones, quadcopters, while the president is on the right. island. So the first night, I'm uh, first day, I'm on Waikiki Beach, and I really want to fl fly this. And I, there's a, an officer there, and I ask him, I say, "Am I going to get in trouble <laughs> flying this thing?" And he says, "The FAA actually doesn't set policy; it doesn't set law. They've issued an advisory, and, and they have no enforcement. Like. Arm. Exactly, he said they have no enforcement. There's no FAA police to come get you." So, so he said, fly away, and then he actually looked he at my remote. Yeah, he didn't care. And then care. he ran away with his with his camera to videotape you for YouTube, right. <laughs> waiting for the, <laughs> the Secret bus. Service to come in with shotguns uh, drawn. You, you actually flew, flew a drone in contravention of federal uh, mandate. Well, advisor. Mandate. It was an advisory. It was an it was advisory. An advisory. <laughs>